good morning class 8 children today uh, we will continue with the study of the fifth chapter language of chemistry and uh, children uh, in the last video the revision video uh, we had uh, studied about in video 3 the acid and basic radicals then uh, we had studied about the definitions and examples we also studied about simple radicals and compound radicals and their examples uh, then we had studied children about definition of chemical formula in video 3 uh, and we had revised about the what information the chemical formula gives us then uh, we also revised in the last uh, video children uh, about writing a chemical formula we use several examples of chemical formula and how to write them uh, we uh, took almost five examples of writing chemical formula and i also gave you assignment uh, of several chemical formula so that you can learn to write them in step wise manner today we will revise about some important compounds that are commonly used in chemical equations and we will also revise about some acids and bases which are used in chemical reactions today important uh, acids and bases that you will be coming across when you will write chemical reactions first let us look at the important compounds uh, that are used commonly in chemical reaction for example uh, children you will come across these compounds uh, let us revise them one by one carbon monoxide or co uh, is a common uh, compound that is used in chemical reactions carbon dioxide co2 is another compound sulfur dioxide or so2 is another common compound sulfur trioxide or so3 is another common compound that uh, we utilize in chemical equations nitrogen dioxide no2 uh, then nitrogen oxide uh, n and o then we see hydrogen peroxide or h2o2 then we see uh, phosphorus pentoxide or p2o5 is used then children we see red lead or tri lead tetroxide or pb3o4 is a compound used in chemical reactions uh, then uh, children ferric oxide a compound uh which is given the chemical formula fe2o3 which you also did in your assignment then we see ferrous oxide feo triferric tetroxide fe3o4 then uh, children let us also revise some of the acids and bases that you will come across in chemical reactions hydrochloric acid very common acid hcl nitric acid hno3 children nitrous acid hno2 sulfurous acid h2so3 sulfuric acid h2so4 phosphoric acid h3po4 carbonic acid h2co3 sodium hydroxide uh, naoh is a hydroxide uh, that Uh, you will be utilizing children in writing chemical reactions then another uh, hydroxide to revise is potassium hydroxide koh and then another hydroxide is slate lime or calcium hydroxide and then uh, children we also uh, had seen when we were studying this chapter earlier about the symbols and valencies and i had told you to learn the symbols and valencies there are monovalent symbols in positive radicals bivalent symbols trivalent symbols and tetravalent symbols and i told you children to memorize them uh, uh, monovalent symbols of positive radicals uh, in one day then the next day to revise the 
bivalent uh, symbols of positive radicals then third day to uh, revise the trivalent uh, symbols of positive radicals and tetravalent symbols and so on and then uh, we see children that uh, we had also studied about negative radicals monovalent uh, negative radicals uh, we had seen bivalent negative radicals trivalent negative radicals and tetravalent uh, negative radicals and children uh, you must uh, memorize these uh, radicals because these radicals would be coming uh, handy in writing chemical equations uh, children if you remember that uh, we had studied about what is a, a chemical equation and uh, we know that know that chemical equation is the symbolic representation of an actual reaction what is the definition of chemical equation chemical equation is the symbolic representation of a uh, an actual reaction the substances which take place uh, in the reaction uh, we had seen uh, certain substances which take place in the reaction for example uh, we had seen that uh, the substances which take place in reaction are called reactants for example in this particular uh, equation magnesium plus h2so4 produces magnesium sulfate and hydrogen we see that the reactants are magnesium and sulfuric acid h2so4 then we see that uh, the substances which are produced as a re result of reaction between the reactants are uh, called products in a chemical equation for example magnesium combines with h2so4 to give magnesium sulfate and hydrogen which are the products then while writing a chemical equation uh, we Uh, use certain symbols children while writing chemical equation the symbols and formulae of reactants are written on the left hand side uh, that uh, we had seen here that these are written on the left hand side the reactants magnesium and sulfuric acid these are written on the left hand side and then uh, children we see that the, these two are separated by a plus sign which means uh, this plus sign means magnesium reacts with plus sign shows magnesium reacts with the other reactant sulfuric acid h2so4 then we see that the symbols and formulae of the products are written on the right hand side the products that were formed by these reactants are written on the right hand side this we had a uh, seen and we had revised in previous videos uh, when we were uh, learning about this chapter and we see that these two products magnesium sulfate and hydrogen gas they are also separated by a plus sign and what is the meaning of this plus sign the meaning of this plus sign is magnesium sulfate along with hydrogen gas are produced on the right hand side the two sides of the equation that is the reactants and the products are separated by an arrow do you see this arrow so the reactants or products are separated by an arrow and this arrow points towards the products that are formed so we can see this arrow is pointed pointing towards the products and which means Uh, that uh, this produces magnesium and sulfuric acid produces this arrow shows produces magnesium sulfate and hydrogen and uh, uh, children let us look at uh, what is a balanced equation the chemical equation in which the number of atoms of each element are equal on both the sides of the equation is called balanced equation for example we see calcium carbonate 
here uh, children and calcium carbonate it on the left hand side combines with two hydrochloric acid to give uh, products calcium chloride water and carbon dioxide so we see here that uh, this chemical equation is a balanced chemical equation we can see that together and revise children there is one calcium on left hand side and on the right hand side also we have one calcium in this equation then we see uh, carbon here is uh, one and here also carbon present is one then we see oxygen present is three on the left hand side on the right hand side one two three oxygen are also present on the right hand side then let us come to hydrogen we see there are two hydrogens present on the left hand side and here also there are two hydrogen atoms present on the right hand side then children there are two chlorine atoms here because two is written before h hydrogen and cl so there are two chlorine here and we see there are two chlorine atoms here also so uh, we see what is the importance of chemical equation to us or what is the information that children uh, the chemical equation conveys to us gives to us we see chemical equation children let us revise it gives us two kind of significance the qualitative significance it gives us as well as the quantitative significance uh, the qualitative significance it represents the name of the reactants and the products for example we saw the names here calcium carbonate of this particular reactant and the name hydrochloric uh, here of the acid which it react which is reacting with calcium carbonate and uh, it uh, the qualitative significance is that the products that are formed are calcium chloride the name given to this compound water or uh, h2o and carbon dioxide so these are the compounds that are formed then we see we also have quantitative significance of the chemical equation it uh, represents the following the relative number of molecules of reactants and products so we see here uh, one molecule of calcium carbonate two molecules of hcl hydrochloric acid then one molecule of calcium chloride one molecule of water and one molecule of carbon dioxide likewise we see the relative number of moles of reactants and products moles is also a measurement of these compounds number of moles of calcium carbonate number of moles of hydrochloric acid num uh, they react together to give uh, some number of moles of calcium chloride water and of carbon dioxide then we see that the third significant quantitative uh, important thing which this equation tells us is the relative masses of the reactants and the products what are the masses of calcium uh, and carbonate what are the masses or the weight of hcl that is used uh, these two reactants what is the mass of the two reactants and what are the products uh, formed what is the mass of the products that are formed calcium chloride water and carbon dioxide what is the mass of each of these products then we see equation also tells us uh, quantitatively the relative volumes of gaseous reactants and products we see that uh, here these uh, this is a gas that is formed carbon dioxide so the relative volumes of gaseous reactants if there have, would have been gaseous reactants here then how much volume of gases were, were were there as product and how much was the volume of uh, gases that were given out as product so uh, this is also we come to know from a balanced chemical equation so children we will complete 
this video here revision of this video here itself and uh, in the next video uh, that we would uh, study together uh, children uh, next week on Monday in that video uh, children we will go into details of how to balance chemical equations and which method to use to balance the chemical equation this we will learn in the next video so today uh, children uh, we will conclude this video here wish you all the best have a good day thank you